So as we move forward in the crypto and digital asset market, I believe DEXs are going to play a major role. And because of that, I want to do an updated video about how to use DEXs and how to stay safe and everything in between. So let's just jump right in and try to make this as painless as humanly possible. So first things first, if you're going to talk about DEXs, you're going to need to talk about wallets. And the first wallet we're going to take a look at is MetaMask. There's a link in the description. And the first thing you have to do is you have to download this wallet. When you download the wallet, it'll be a part of your browser. You can do this on your phone. Right now, it's just a lot easier because it's a, it's a bigger picture. So we can use this on our browser and go through the whole process. So after you download, and you can see it right there in the upper right hand corner, download, you're going to click on that, it'll go to your browser. And then you're going to have a different look because once you have the, the wallet itself into your web browser, there's going to be a button. Now, again, the same thing up here in the upper right hand corner, it's going to say view portfolio. Now you won't have anything on yours, but I have a little bit in mind. And quite honestly, I have a little bit too much and uh, that is just me. So I will just preface with this. Don't leave your life savings on a hot wallet because it'll probably get ripped off. The only reason I'm doing this today is because we're going to go through a lot of things and I wanted to have, make sure that I was set and ready. So when you look at your dashboard, you will have absolutely zero in here. And so the question you're probably going to have is, well, how do I get things in there? How do I move my crypto or digital assets from my centralized exchanges onto the DEXs? Very simple. On the left hand side here, it's going to say send and receive. There's a send and there's a receive. We want to receive this crypto. So we're going to click on copy address and we're going to go to our centralized exchange. I'm stuck in the United States, well, Puerto Rico, and uh, I pretty much have Coinbase as one of my limited options. So when we go in there, we're going to pick a, uh, a ERC20 token or Ethereum itself. And in this situation, I'm going to pick Aave. I've got about a thousand dollars on Aave. And what you're going to do is because you're going to take that Aave from Coinbase and you're going to send it. So you're going to click on that send button right there. And you're going to send that to the address that we just copied over here in MetaMask. That was the one right there. So we're going to paste that in. We're going to click continue. And it's going to say how much you want to spend. You want to spend all of it. You want to spend half of it. Here's a little pro tip. Always spend or always send a test transaction just in case things get lost. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, I sent it to the wrong address, which doesn't happen that much anymore, but just to be safe. So send a test transaction. What sucks in our ERC-20 tokens or Ethereum tokens, you have to pay the gas on that. But it's a lot better to lose 10, 8, $10 than say $10,000. So do a test tra transaction if you've done this before at a small amount. So anyhow, once we have, I'm gonna send $1,000, we're gonna click on preview. It's gonna say, does this look right? And of course, yeah, we're getting hosed on the fees. Ethereum fee is nine bucks, whatever. And it's gonna to send to that address, which is uh, the Ethereum address we just, we just copied. And we're gonna click on send now. And once I do that, it'll bring up my uh, Google Authenticator two-factor 2FA. I highly recommend you do this on every single device that you have because if you get ripped off or if you have some kind of SIM swap, this will protect you. The Google Authenticator, links in the description, it has a six uh, numerical code, which goes by through every 45 seconds and then resets. And that's what you have to put in and make it so you can actually transfer things or transfer crypto in and out of your wallets. Highly recommend it. Okay. So we've done that and we've sent over our Aave and let's take a look here on this screen. You can see that you can break in my tokens, NFTs, DeFi, and all the different networks that I have available. I got Ethereum, BNB, Polygon, Base, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Linea. That's another video if you want to figure out how to set all that stuff up. But you can see that it's not there right now, so I'm going to click the refresh button. And voila, there it is, Aave. We've got 993 of course, because of the uh, fees of $9, and that's just how it is par for the course. Ethereum likes to have those big transaction fees. So the next question you probably have is, well, how do you do that in reverse? Well, it's very simple. If you're going to do that in reverse and you want to send these tokens or any token that you have on your MetaMask wallet and you want to send it to your centralized exchange, you would just click on send and receive and the send button. Send from, of course, that was the wallet. Send to the public address. Now we need the public address. Again, we just go back to Coinbase and we're going to click on receive because we're going to do it's going to pull up a address. You're going to copy that address. You're going to stick it right there. You're going to select the asset of Aave and then click the amount and then click send. So you know now how to send and receive. Very simple. Now let's start buying some things. That's that's what we're here for, right? So let's talk about Satoshi VM. This is, uh, geez, this thing keeps going up. It's been very volatile. And I will just uh, preface it with this. Satoshi VM, this has got a little bit of a heat. And I just, I made this little quick chart for everybody. What I'm going to talk about right now is I own Satoshi VM. Not that much. I'm actually going to buy some more today, hopefully when it calms down. Do your own research and just be aware that I will dump on you. I will dump on you. I will dump on you. So make sure you take profits. 
And it looks like this. This has been the big complaint for this one so far. This was, today it is January 20th. In just a couple of days, it started out at six bucks. And of course, people say, oh, well, I'm gonna get in there around six dollars. And they're gonna diamond hands. And, I'm, and you know, I always, we talk about taking profits. It's important to take profits. That's why I have these rules underneath me that's, you know, the very last one, take profits. But people like to be stubborn and greedy. And as it goes up to eight bucks, nine bucks, 10 bucks, they're like, nope, 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 nope. And then when it starts to, to uh, start to decrease, they're like, oh, rug, why are you dumping on me, bro? Then it goes up and like, oh, we're back. And then it goes down here to eight bucks. And of course you're a victim. So again, I don't want to hear it. Uh, I will dump on you and I will buy this and I'll probably wait for a little bit to, uh, to sell. But uh, don't come crying to me uh, when you're like, hey, I went up to 50 bucks and then it dumped them. And what happened? Should have taken profits. Anyhow, what I want to do today is I want to take Aave and I want to swap it for Satoshi VM. You don't have to take Ethereum and swap it for Satoshi. You don't have to take Ethereum. You can do whatever you want in, in these wallets and kind of swap them and show how easy this actually is. But here's the reason why I like Satoshi VM. First of all, it is a layer two solution. It is EVM compatible and it uses native Bitcoin as gas. Just real quick, here's the overview. Social VM is a versatile ZK rollup, employs a Ethereum virtual machine for off-chain computations. They bundle multiple transactions into a single batch and validate them on the Bitcoin main network as a single transaction. Instead of having the outrageous Bitcoin fees that are going on right now, it's like a ZK rollup just like they have with it for Ethereum. ZK fraud proofs, it utilizes technologies such as Taproot and Bitcoin scripts, and it uses, again, uh, native Bitcoin as gas for the EVM. So that's pretty cool. Here's what's decent about it. Because you always got to take a look at, at the, the token distribution, the tokenomics. So just so you know, the ecosystem liquidity, that's about 60%. <clears throat> Contributors and bootstrapping, that's 30%. IDO, IDO, the initial DEX offering was 3%, and the farming was about 05 so when I look at this, I think, okay, ecosystem liquidity looks pretty good at 60%, but contributors and bootstrapping, what's that? It sounds like I'm going to get dumped on. Here's the thing. For the contributors, that's locked for six months, and then it's vested linearly over three years. So look, if you don't take profits in the six months and the contributors, who probably are some of the influencers, they'll dump on you at six months. Just be aware of that. The bootstrapping, 50% unlocked on TGE, your token generation event, which just happened. Then they have a three-month cliff, which means they can't do squat follow my monthly vesting. So not too bad, I think it should be okay. And lastly, this is why I really like Satoshi VM. Total supply, 21 million. I think this could be, do very well, but I've been wrong before. So when I'm gonna do any kind of like swapping, there's two ways to do it. Essentially, we wanna take a look at where is this actually being offered? And the, very, and the easiest place to do that is go to CoinGecko. You go to CoinGecko and click on markets. Cause we wanna know like, where can I buy this? Well, Mexi, I'm out, cause I'm a, a US citizen, but it does have a DEX of Uniswap V3. So that's pretty great. Here's a little trick. What you wanna do is before you go to Uniswap, I want you to copy this contract address. This is important so we don't get the wrong one. We don't wanna get scammed out. So when I go to Uniswap, and then the question then of course is, well, Rob, uh, Uniswap, should I go to the, how do I go, go to the right one? When you scroll down and click on Uniswap V3, there's a button here that says start trading right there. That takes you to the official Uniswap site. Don't just go to uniswap.org or uniswap.com because some of those are like not the right uh, uh, addresses. It's actually app.uniswap.org forward slash swap. I believe it's uniswap.io. But anyhow, links in the description, but you can also check here at CoinGecko and get the official one. So make sure you do that correctly. So let's say we've got Ethereum. I've got two Ethereum right now rocked, locked and ready to go. I don't want to do that. I want to go here and I want to use my Aave token. And I want to, let's say we're going to max out. That's about $993. Select token. Now I could write this in Satoshi VM, but there's a good chance I'm going to get a bunch of nonsense and garbage. That's why we're going to paste that contract address to make sure we got the correct one and we don't get screwed over. So that's the one, Satoshi VM. Looks good. So just so you know, 89.99. Now we can do that. We can do that right now. And that's Uniswap. Look at these gas fees though, $19.87. That's pretty ridiculous. Let's take a look at another option and see how it actually works out. So here, I'm in the portfolio of MetaMask. I'm gonna click on swap. I just think it's easier this way. I'm gonna click on ETH. I'm gonna look for here, Aave. And I'm gonna put max, select the token, and do the same thing. I'm gonna paste in that Satoshi VM. There's advanced options. I'm not gonna get, get, go with that one because I don't wanna confuse everybody. Get quotes. And what it's doing right here is it's actually connecting to Uniswap to make it very simple. However, you will notice one thing. You're going to get 88.986 with the MetaMask wallet, and you're going 
0.99 over on Uniswap. Why is that? It's because there is a fee and it states right here, three quotes includes a almost 1% MetaMask fee, which of course drives up the price a little bit. So here it is easier and here is a little bit cheaper, just so you know. So in this situation, I'm gonna make it very simple on myself and be cheap and use Uniswap. I'm gonna click on swap anyway, even though I got a $20 gas fee, which is ridiculous, but whatever. So here I go, approve and swap, and I'm gonna click approve. Approval pending, and we'll see how long that takes. As that is going through, I just wanted to like to take a look for everybody here. If we go back over here, we can see how much the fees are fluctuating. Look at this max fee, $27, $12, and everything else. It'll get there, that's just how it is. If you want a better experience, in my personal opinion, of course, we only have we only have this option for Satoshi VM, take a look at the Solana DEXs. There are two of them, orca.so, and there's jupiter or jup.ag, link in the description. It uses Solana and it is by far better and faster and way cheaper. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. First of all, they use there's two different wallets you can use. Just like we have MetaMask, we have Phantom, link in the description, and Titus wallet. I use both of those, they work out just great. Again, they're hot wallets, so don't put everything uh, as far as like your entire life savings in there because it'll probably get ripped off. So let's go over here. Let's say I wanna get Bonk, and I wanna spend, let's say 0.5 SOL, right? Again, I've done the same process. I've already transferred things over. I'm gonna click on buy. And I'm gonna click on confirm. We can see that the network fee is 0.00015 SOL, which is absolutely nothing in my personal opinion. And voila, it's done. So that's done. You can do the same thing at uh, Jupiter. They have DCA, set and limit orders, great stuff that you wanna see. And let's uh, check over here. And uh, still going through this process. So let me sign that. So yeah, swap's still pending and that's pretty much par for the course and that's really what it is. So look. Oh, that made sense. And it just kind of helps everybody get to understand like how DEXs are used and these different uh, wallets that are used. And of course, how to keep yourself a little bit safe. Again, remember, don't keep everything on those hot wallets. There's a pretty good chance you're gonna get ripped off. Also use two-factor authentication. Also use those contract addresses so you can actually get the right token and work from there. That's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Everything we talked about is very time sensitive, all that great stuff. And all the links are in the description so you can actually learn and move forward. But that's it for today. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.